Welcome to another section about buying. Welcome to another section. This section is going to cover buying strategies. Okay, so you know now how to appraise a coin, right? You know how to appraise it for its long-term value. You know how to essentially look for a coin you have some affinity with and has some, I suppose, some proven criteria which will help you determine whether it's got long-term value. But there are two main strategies when it comes to crypto coin investing, okay? One is the short term, the other is the long term, okay? So the first one I'm going to cover is the short term. And the short term strategy is called pump and dump. It sounds really crass, but this is a strategy a lot of people use, a lot of cryptocurrency traders use in order to just make massive gains in a coin, okay? So essentially it's a short-term strategy. It allows you to make spectacular gains before the price of the coin drops, okay? So you don't need to have necessarily an affinity with the coin. Now, when you research coins online, the best thing to do is to just have a look at what are the bits of news that determines the value of a coin, okay? now. You can find a coin that you have an affinity with, like I have with Steam, like I have with Digibyte. But if there's a coin that I have absolutely no affinity with, then it is worth looking on Poloniex for particular coins, seeing the value, and then determining whether that has a short-term benefit or a long-term benefit. Okay? So if you look at the markets, if you have a look at market news, look at particular coins, Pay attention to what people are saying on YouTube and then do your research into that coin. And you will normally see that a YouTuber or somebody in the cryptocurrency community, if you join a Facebook group or something, will say there is a particular coin that's going to shoot up. Do your research about it and make sure that you know enough about it before you actually make the trade, okay? Because sometimes market news really shoots up the value of a particular coin. It can go from absolutely nowhere to somewhere. It can be one of the best gainers on Poloniex. And then what you do is you get out when it starts to fall. It's just pump and dump. You put money into it when the price is low, then the price goes spectacularly high, and when it begins to drop, you dump it, okay? You've made your gains from it. It's a short-term benefit. You know, it's a coin that you don't necessarily have any affinity with. It doesn't necessarily have an amazing community, but it has got some market news which really propels the value from nowhere to the stratosphere. So let me show you a couple of examples. So Wavecoin. Wavecoin is a coin that is now worth $2.51. And as you can see here, it's not far from its peak, okay? At its peak, it was $2.86 as of May the 25th, which was literally a couple of days ago. Now, if we just go back to the middle of, well, let's just go back to the beginning of March, okay? So at the time, the value of the coin was 19 cents, okay? And then it went up to $2.86, okay? So if we just go onto my calculator and we put $2.86 divided by 0.19, that is 15 times the value, 15 times the value. So essentially, if you put money in at the beginning of March, if you put $1,000 in at the beginning of March, then as of the 25th of May, that would have been worth 15000 So So 1000 to 15000 okay? So you have made, you have ridden a spectacular wave in just the span of three months, okay? This is the typical scenario where you would do a pump and dump. You basically buy at 19 cents because you've heard something amazing in the market. People have been blowing up about it on YouTube and in the community. You make your investment while the price is low and then you make extraordinary gains from it and then you dump it at its highest. Or if it goes down just a little bit, you know, if it goes down to, you know, the two kind of 47, 250, you dump it. You dump it because it's reached its peak and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere days after, 
All right, so that is one example. And on that example, you would have made 15 times your money. Now, let me just bring up another example, a very recent example, which is Ripple. Okay, Ripple is now currently worth 22 cents. Okay, now if we just zoom in on this bit here, if you'd have got into Ripple, let's say again, the beginning of March, and it was at 0.006, 0.006, so it's half a cent to buy one Ripple, okay? Then we fast forward to when it was at its peak, around 41 cents, okay? So let's just do that now. So let's do 41 cents divided by 0.006. 68 times. 68 times its value, okay? So in the space of two and a half months, it has gone from half a cent to 41 cents, okay? It's since kind of dropped off a cliff has Ripple, okay? It's gone down to, as I said, 22 cents. But at its peak, it was at 41 cents. And you would have made 68 times what you put in. So if you put a thousand dollars in at the beginning of uh, March, around about middle of March time, and then dumped it at in the in mid May, you would have made sixty eight thousand. A thousand dollars into sixty eight thousand dollars. That is amazing. Now, Ripple is one of those cryptocurrencies that has made people spectacularly rich recently. A lot of people have gotten rich off of Ripple, okay? I know somebody that invested 100,000 into Ripple, okay? 100,000. And now they are a multi-millionaire, a multi-millionaire on this pump and dump scenario. They heard about Ripple and its integration with Japanese currency and the Japanese were going to be kind of integrating it in some way. People heard about this and then they made a bet, okay? They pumped a load of money in. Some people pumped hundreds of thousands. I'm talking about the serious, really serious crypto traders here. The guys that have been in it from the beginning and have made millions already. Pumped 100,000 into Ripple and have made themselves multi-millionaires increased their wealth by a million times well or 68 times in the case of this currency okay so if you were going to be making you know or putting even a hundred dollars into this at the time just a hundred dollars which is nothing really you know you could you you know stand to put away a hundred dollars every month just to literally speculate on the market a hundred dollars turn into 6,800. Is that not absolutely sublime? Okay, so that is an instance where the pump and dump scenario matters. Okay, now me personally, I had no association with Ripple, no association with Pivx, no association with Waves, but saw the short-term value of these cryptocurrencies. Okay, and that is basically the way to see it. What are people blowing up about? And you will see this in the YouTube and cryptocurrency community. Well, the cryptocurrency community on YouTube. You will see them blowing up about a particular stock because you will see that name mentioned over and over and over. And everybody around about mid, mid-March to the end of March were blowing up about Ripple. I heard about it at the end of March. People were saying, people were already making gains at this point where people had bought much lower and they're saying ripple is gonna blow up ripple is gonna blow up go for ripple i'm no fan of ripple okay but you can see the short-term gains that can be made from ripple whether or not you have an affinity with it or not now ripple is not an exception lots of currencies go up like this and millions more will from this day okay this isn't the first nor the last to make excellent gains in a very short space of time OK, so pump and dump is a scenario when you can see there is immediate short term gain to be made. You don't have any affinity with it, but you've heard and you've done your own personal research to back up what people are saying. 
because this stuff will be backed up. It will be somewhere. Okay, the experienced cryptocurrency experts know where to look. They go on Google, they know where to look, how to look, and how many sources to look for. And this is what you're going to develop over time. You'll develop that intuition. Okay, you may not necessarily make the biggest gains on the first currency that you pump and dump on. However, you will learn over time to exactly spot when a cryptocurrency is about to blow up and when you should get in it. Okay, even if you invested at this point, you would have made twice your money. Okay, so it just goes to show you can make massive gains from something as long as it's keeping on going up. Okay, and that is what you've got to basically keep abreast of the upwards momentum. Okay, and then as soon as it falls, and look at the fall. Okay, as soon as it falls, dump it. That's what people do. So that is pump and dump. I will see you in the next lecture.